Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Gorgeous day, 80 degrees, sunny, white clouds, love it. Today, I um, wanted to talk about this topic, more about visualization. Because the, uh, the video from yesterday received a good amount of feedback, uh, some nice comments, some nice feedback, some nice uh, exchanges in the comment sections. So uh, I felt like I just wanted to expand on that topic a little bit more. So more on visualization is today's topic. I'm gonna breathe in the peace, fresh air, it's cool today. I can actually breathe. The air does not feel heavy in my lungs, which is awesome. Love it. I'm gonna breathe in the vision of my future. I'm gonna exhale the vision of my challenges in my past. I'm gonna breathe in the possibility and exhale the doubt and the fear. All right, so more on visualization. You know, I have had a number of people tell me, Dan, I've tried visualization, that doesn't work for me. You know, I can't really visualize. I don't do that, I don't do well with that. And so what I'm gonna suggest here is we visualize all the time, all of us. All of us. So if you say, I don't visualize, I don't do visualization, that's kind of weird, I, that's kind of, I don't do that. Yes, you do. You visualize all the time. So if you have an event, let's say a wedding or a show, a show or a party with some friends or a trip, and you're like, yeah, I don't do visualization, so this won't work for me. Inevitably, you're already visualizing but you're watching the wrong movie in your head. You're watching a movie in your head of the fear, the worry, the anxiety building up before, before, before. You're fearful of the actual trip itself, the, the car drive, the packing. I don't know if I'll be able to carry this stuff. You're worried about, well, what if it goes bad while I'm there? My friends will, you know, be put off by the fact that I'm struggling with my symptoms. That's called visualization. You're just visualizing it going really poorly. So what would happen if you started to visualize yourself enjoying the trip, having it go well, and that you're actually capable of doing what, the, what you're planning on doing? It doesn't matter if it's a trip to the grocery store, the mall, the library, you name it. It doesn't matter if it's going to your kid's soccer game. You know, you're visualizing no matter what, 100% of the time, as you think about something you want to or need to do. And that can include laying in bed going, oh, here's the day. You're visualizing already if you say, oh, no, how bad's the day going to be? Uh, I'm worried about getting up. You're already visualizing. You are. It's just how this thing called thinking goes. Because if you're thinking about anything in the future, you're visualizing the future. So all I'm suggesting here is play with it. Write a new script for this movie playing in your head and try it. And look, if it feels awkward at first, it's going to. Expect it to. You might feel silly, right? Now, the one young lady who told me about this in our group coaching session on Wednesday, she saw that I posted a video on this, and she was really glad that I did. And she said, oh, Dan, one more thing I wanted to share with you. When I'm visualizing by myself, I will actually speak the visualization out loud. And she was right about it because when you say something out loud, you're now imprinting this in your brain with three modalities. You're thinking it, you're saying it, and you're hearing it, which is way more impactful than just thinking it, right? What do they say when you're trying to learn something? Well, you can try to remember something mentally, but if you write it down, that's one way to imprint it more. So you hear it, you try to remember it, but if you write it down, you're imprinting it again. And then if you share that with somebody else, you're imprinting it a third time, right? And that's why a lot of times in a, in a classroom setting, 
they teach, and then they ask students to kind of replay what they just learned. Who here can summarize what we just talked about? Because it's that repetition and re-imprinting that helps. So, if you're going to play with this and you've got the privacy and you don't want to worry about, you know, looking silly in front of other people, practice this and say it out loud. You know, maybe even narrate it like you're a narrator for a documentary on the Discovery Channel. And now Susan is going out to the grocery store. She's hopping in her car. She's smiling. She's laughing. She puts on some music and starts popping. Right? Visualize it. You can either view it from your own eyes, first person, or view it third person as if you're watching yourself on screen. Play with it. Make it fun. Have some fun with it. Because the bottom line is, if you tell yourself the story that visualization doesn't work for me, it's working flawlessly. And it's possibly keeping you from going out and doing more things because you're saying, well, if I go to the gym, it's going to go awful and I'm going to hurt. You just visualize the horrible gym experience, which is why you might not have gone to the gym in the past six months, six years. You understand how this works? Thinking about the future is visualization. So don't tell yourself a story that visualization can't work for you. I'm just encouraging you to rewrite the script for this movie you're already watching in your head. Why, re why watch a movie all day, every day of yourself not capable, not happy, miserable, hurting, when you could, in fact, use the same amount of time, the same amount of brain energy to watch a movie that can help lift you up and allow your brain to start seeing the possibility and probability of you getting well and regaining your life and doing so much better. It doesn't take any more time. It'll be awkward at first, for sure. You might feel silly at first. And if it doesn't give you a boost of confidence at first, keep on doing it. Baby steps. Nobody ever got good at anything the first time they tried it. So play with this, please. We are visualizing all day, every day, no matter what. And so, give it a shot. You've got nothing to lose, everything to gain. And it doesn't have to be some woo-woo, oh, I'm a visualizer. We all are, right? You don't have to convince yourself that this is some practice where you're actually fixing yourself. Because as you know, I'm not big on the fixing activities. And this might qualify as a fixing activity. But it's really just, do you see yourself suffering forever? Or do you see yourself getting well and living a life full of joy, happiness, physical movement, body capability? You get to choose. And I'm really, really encouraging you to choose a visualization that's going to support you and give you confidence and courage. And look, even if you start visualizing and you go out and you have a bad experience with a little bit of pain, you know what's you know you know what to do about it. Oh, I know what that is. Brain's still perceiving danger, right? That's all that's happening. You didn't hurt yourself. You didn't do too much. Your brain's still perceiving danger. It just hasn't learned yet that you can do these things. But if you want to be able to go out and do it with greater ease and less fear, practice it in your head. Start to imagine the best case scenario. Well, I don't know if I should go. It's going to go awful. Well, that's going to leave you feeling sad, diminished, you know, feeling like you're incapable, probably pissed off that you missed an opportunity to go do something that might have been fun. Or by flipping the script and imagining it's going to go well, and even if it doesn't go well, I'm capable of handling anything that happens because I'm not doing my, myself any harm. So more on visualization. I really just want you to understand we're all visualizing all day anyway. So you may as well use that natural part of being a human being to your advantage. I hope that makes sense. So, love you guys and gals. You're awesome. And, uh, yeah, that's what I got for you today. Hope everybody's doing well. 
Love you, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. See ya.